Okay, so let's start by installing the kit. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is head over to 7-zip or 7-zip.org and download 7-zip for the specific um, Windows version that you want, 32-bit or 64-bit. Once that's installed, go ahead and find the location of where you downloaded the file after purchase. And if you have already previously purchased, make sure to um, follow this uh, because you're gonna, it's essentially gonna do the up update for you too. It's the same, same way as installing it. So uh, let me get to that folder. And now that we're here, you're essentially going to extract it. So let me go ahead, I'll show you how to do that by deleting the extraction that I've already done. So you'll, this will be the uh, zip file that you'll receive after purchase and or if you're getting an update. And the way you extract it is right clicking and then you're gonna find 7-zip once you've installed it. Highlight 7-zip and look for extract here. Click that and let it do the extraction. So what you'll find is the initial thumbnails that describe the product, a folder with distress patterns, and a folder with actions, maybe something else, depending on um, where we're at in the future. I'm trying to update things all the time. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is locate your action folder. I'm gonna set that aside. Now the next thing that you wanna make sure is open is make sure your actions panel is open. And mine right is right here. It looks like a play icon. So if I click that um, button, It'll pop out the panel. If you don't see that button, make sure go go up to Window and look for a checkbox for Actions. If it's checked, then you're gonna have to find it wherever it is in your interface. If it isn't checked, make sure it's checked and it should pop out. So with the Actions panel popped out and ready to go, what I can do is with that folder, go into the Actions folder, grab the two actions, click and drag, and then drop them into the panel, and that will actually install them. Now there's two ways to use the kit. Um, you have it in this this view here, list view, and the way you would do it with list view is you can have the folders organized. I personally use it this way, uh, but you can also do it in button mode. But if you're in list mode, if there's any action that you want to use, you would click it and then head down to the play button, click play, click that button, and it will play the action. Um, so those are the two folders. Now the next mode is if you go to the top right corner of that panel, you're going to find a hamburger and that is the location for the drop down menu. If you click it, the very top option will be button mode. Now my suggestion in this mode, you can basically use it whatever way you want. You wanna stretch it out this way, whatever. I turn it into single column and what I've done is I've created two empty actions that do nothing and their um, color is going to be black and you'll see that it has a, in parentheses the word category. So that's just there to visually organize for you the two folders. So you have the raster adjustment folder, and then you have the rasterization folder. And essentially what they are is the raster, is, uh, raster adjustments folder contains all of the pre-adjustments before actually doing the half toning. And then you have the rasterization, which is essentially half toning and all those actions. So uh, that is how you install the kit. Uh, that is how you can use it in two different ways. And in the next videos, we're going to actually first start with raster adjustments and diving into... Uh, basically doing knockouts and things like that to prep for our rasterization. I'll see you in the next video.